Since Arsenal moved to the Emirates Stadium in 2006, the Gunners have hosted Manchester United a total of 14 times, winning 7 of those games. United have won 4 and they've been 3 draws. Arsenal have scored a total of 21 goals in the 14 games, while Manchester United have scored 15 times in the 14 games. Can we add to our good record at the Emirates Stadium? Let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the match preview for Arsenal against Manchester United. Big, big game. Now, if there's a game I never want to lose, it's this one. Tottenham have the biggest rivalry with Arsenal, but that's because we are neighbours in everything. But with Manchester United, the battles have been on the pitch more than Tottenham. So this is a huge, huge game. It's a game we need to win. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Emirates record, the all-time record, the record in the last 10 meetings. And of course, at the end, I'm going to be discussing my lineup and my prediction for the game. But just before that, I've already done a combined 11 with some United fans and an Arsenal fan. I had the young ones in that, in that video, so it's a brilliant one. To, uh, so take a look at it. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. And the link will be the first link in the description. So make sure you take a look at that. But as of now, let's get into the all-time record of the game. So for the all-time record, United have won 99 games, Arsenal have won 85 games, and they've been 49 draws. I usually say every time I do these previews that rarely, you rarely find a team that has a better all-time record against Arsenal. There's a very, very few number of teams that have that, and United is one of them. You'd expect them to have dominated us in the, in the history, and yes, they have um, not really that much, 14 more wins against us over the years. Um... At the Emirates Stadium, as I mentioned earlier, since we moved there, we've beaten them seven times and they've beaten us four times. Some really, really good memories and some terrible memories. One of those terrible memories was when Lingard came there and he started dancing those stupid dances. That was a bad memory. They beat us at home. I remember a very good memory when we came back um, against them in the first game at the Emirates Stadium against them. Hondry and Van Persie scoring the goal. That was a very, very good game and very, very many more. In fact, I'll ask you guys, Comment right now, which game do you remember between Arsenal and Manchester United more? Which one gives you the best memories and the worst memories? Try and have it at the Emirates Stadium. Of course, there's the 8-2 at Old Trafford, but at the Emirates Stadium, what's the best memory and worst memory? The last five games against United, we've won four games and they've won once at the Emirates Stadium. Um, we've scored 10 goals and they've scored only three. So at the Emirates Stadium, we've dominated them in the last five, six years. And even at Old Trafford, we got a win this season. The previous time, we we kind of drew a lot of draws, 2-2, two, 1-1, two, one, one, a lot of draws against them. In the last 10 meeting, meetings in all, both the grounds, um, United have won three times, we've won four, and there have been three draws. So even uh, the last 10 meetings, including both stadiums, we have a better record recently. Um, we've scored 21 goals and they've scored 15 in the last um, 40 meetings at the Emirates Stadium. So basically since we moved there, we've scored 21 goals and they've scored 15 against us. So a good record against United recently. At, at least it's not Old Trafford, we usually have a terrible one there, but at home we usually have a good one. The last meeting between the two teams when we beat them 1-0, what did we do in that game? We defended very well. We didn't take our chances. That's something we need to do. We had a lot of chances. We didn't take our chances. So we definitely need to take our chances. I'll discuss this more in my podcast on Friday. So make sure you check out the 49 Invincibles podcast. I'll have a couple of Arsenal fans there and a United fan. So this time I'll keep it short because I have a lot of videos um, uh, previewing this game out. You can just check it out. The links will be in the description and in the YouTube card. So right now, let me take a look at what my lineup would be and my prediction for the game. For my lineup, obviously, Leno in goal. My back four will be Cedric, Holding, Gabriel and Tierney. Um, I'm expecting Bellerin to play. Uh, in the predicted lineup, I did put Bellerin. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. But for me, I'd play Cedric on that side. Um, I'd have Shaka and Thomas Pat in the middle. Then Saka on the right side, I'd have Emil Smith throw in behind the striker, Aubameyang on the left, and of course Lacazette as the striker. Aubameyang is fit, let him, let him play this game. He has scored a couple of goals against United, including the win at Old Trafford, so let him play. 
on the bench Matt Ryan, David Lewis, Bellerin, Niles, Mohamed El Nene, Gabriel Martinelli, Odegaard, Pepe, Balagan, William. I know those are 10 subs, so if I was to remove one of those players, it would probably be Niles, unfortunately, and then it will go with the other nine players. So that's my my personal lineup, that's the lineup I would go for. Um, let me know what you think about that. Let me know what your prediction is for the game. Mine is 3 2. I hope we win. Obama to score, Lacazette to score, and Saka to score. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys later.